Hey everyone, it's Carrie with Double Click. So this is my part two of my big craft room reveal. So in video number one, I showed everyone in detail what is on this side of my wall. And so we're going to move to this wall. So um, to start off, I don't have a real door on my craft room. I just have this slide door. And so this I used to have at my old craft room. It holds some of my punches. I had to purge. I purged more than half of my punches. It was so sad, but I really just did not have the space for them. So I kept my absolute favorites and I have them in two different spots. So anyway, my husband just bent these uh, door clips super tight um, so that I could suspend this in the air. And I'll show you where how the location is it doesn't really affect what I have over here so I'll explain that here in just a minute so this is where I keep some of my um, happy mail that I've received that is for outgoing happy mail so people's packaging that they've made for me to use elsewhere so this is like happy mail stuff and link below I'm I do like to have pen pals so if you're in the US you can uh, direct message me through my Instagram which is double click connect to see if you'd be interested in pen paling. I do like to pen pal. I love to craft. So uh, my information is also in my um, in my information on YouTube. So up here, I have this little basket that I just keep miscellaneous smaller scrap pieces of paper. And then these are just like, um, I don't know, just items that I, I didn't know where to put. So I just clipped them up there for now. Um, back here in this basket that I got from Ikea, I keep my rolls of paper. So this is like a, a, a hot mat, uh, those large paper pat rolls from Hobby Lobby, the Tim Holtz paper, some wax paper. Uh, another mat is back there. And this is like dry erase uh, paper. So you can make projects that's dry erase board. And then in this one is all of my vinyl that I just keep rolled up in here. And I never use vinyl. Um, so that's why I don't mind that it's down here in this like awkward, uh, awkward corner because I don't really access it that much. And down here are just like my bigger, bigger punches. And it only goes like 3D because I knew I couldn't reach all the way back there. And then these are just some of my uh, border punches um, that I keep up here. So, um... For those of you that maybe don't know, I've been crafting since 2009, so I have acquired, obviously, a large amount of supplies. Most everything I have has been through Goodwill, yard sales, swaps, or only if it's on sale, clearance, or with a coupon. <laughs> so I'm, uh, yes, uh, a hoarder of supplies but at bargain prices, swapping, and I actually do sell my products. I make products for people for charity, and I make special requests for people that are in need. So I do use my supplies for good. Not I don't just only hoard my stuff. So anyway, with that being said, I know that some people don't understand. Um how we acquire so much but um you know it, it's a hobby slash business um anyway so up here i have like these are 12 inch stamps i don't want them getting bent or ruined so i just clip them up there these are just some giant rolls of ribbon that i just you know uh i attach to these clips and here i had cases of all these fiber and ribbons that I never accessed because they were in a box. So I just unwound them. And now when I want one, I just clip it off the bottom. And I'm actually using ribbon a lot more now that I've um, done it this way. So in here, oh, that's my dog. Winston, come here. Come here, buddy. He's so handsome. <laughs> he sees the shadow. My front door is kind of like see-through, so he sees someone out front. Um, anyway, up here is all of my alpha stickers. Um, I just keep them all in one place, and 
when I need this bin, which is not frequently because I usually just stamp uh, my stuff out, um, this, this bin just does, I just pull it off and there's enough room between the wall and here for me to put it right here um, without hurting myself. So each bin is labeled. So this has um, some wooden stamps that I don't normally uh, use. And I know it's silly to have them in here because the, 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 the chance for me to use them is pretty slim in this weird box. But when I finish going through these stamps, hopefully I will be able to pull these stamps onto this other shelf over here. Um, in here, I keep all spare envelopes because I do make envelope flip books. So this is pretty much all envelopes. And then here are cards and envelope sets. And down here is spare um, cutters and spare cuddle bug plates and spare things like tools. And this is a brand new unopened Sizzix. Um, that I got at Goodwill for $7. So I picked it up because I keep breaking the plate that's in my cuddle bug here um, using these and the other dies. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to just use the machines for what they're intended for so I stop breaking those plates. So these, this machine I'll be using with those bigger dies and then my cuddle bug I'm going to be using for embossing folders and then that machine I'll use for my cutting dies. Hopefully. Anyways, this is a large wicker basket. And what I use this for is when I do card shows. Um, all of my cards that I make fit in there um, for people to flip through. And um, this is just where I keep my wrapping paper for like my happy mail. Okay. So on this wall... Um, my husband installed two wire racks across the whole length. And now I keep my paper by theme in these drawers so they don't get bent. And you can see all this side in video number one. But in these units that I got at Michael's, um, I keep one of them is all baby embellishments and the other one is Halloween. And then in these boxes, because I make baby albums primarily, I have baby and baby. Anything baby related, meaning there's embellishments, stickers, charms, um, anything that's not paper is in those bins. And then in here, I have Halloween, Halloween decorations, primarily for um, Happy Mail that I send to people. And then all of these are Christmas. And I really had no idea how much Christmas stuff I had until I started sorting it to um, try and get it under control. But when, you know, those 90% off clearances happen after the holidays, I'm all about that. And now that I see how much I have, I have not been buying any craft supplies like at all. So um, this was really fun to actually sort through and these bins were on clearance at Ikea and they fit perfectly um, to fit all my stuff up there. So I have those temporary labels on there because I wasn't sure if this is how I was going to keep it, but I'm definitely keeping it this way. So what happens is, is when I craft, so say I'm making a baby album, I um, pull my stool that I keep over here. It's right there. And I put it right here. And I climb up and I grab the box and I put it right here. <laughs> and then from there, I move it to right here. And so I have, I make it where everything is accessible so that I could easily craft. In my other house, I had a very large room and everything was easily accessible. And this room's smaller, so I'm making it work. I'm so grateful that I even have a room. We downsized to a really small house and I am so lucky that I have this. So I love it. I love how I, I have a system and it seems to really be working. And you know what, if it doesn't work, I'll change it up. For right now it works perfectly. So in these bins, let's see, this one is empty. This has um, some glitter, smaller pieces of paper. This is like chip die pieces, chip die pieces, 
those are my pony beads and stick pins and in there is all my googly eyes and in here I have glue dots buttons brads um, clips charms and eyelets extra bling pop dots pop dots and this uh, I have this is probably empty because I did label this stuff so this must be another empty bin so this is all extras I know that sounds terrible but um if I already had it it's like already broken out into one of these so this would be extra things that I've purchased that I pr probably already have duplicated in my actual stash that I use so I started labeling these and I will do a uniform label once I am for sure that this is how I'm keeping it but I have religion related anything that has fruit these that's like embellishments uh stickers um ribbon that kind of stuff this is my pink fresh studio amy tangerine anything that like kind of is very boy specific like robots and monsters i keep in there this is travel goodies school spare school stuff so like i do have stuff spread out like i have school there and then I have school and sports down there, but I know it. And so it just, I'm okay with that. This is baking. So I, I keep my baking stamps, um, baking papers. And then I do keep my recipe cards somewhere else though. I keep them over there. And then this is another one that's just sports related. And that's prim primarily like sticker books, project life cards, um, things like that. So if I'm making a sport album, which I am a coach for high school, so I do make my athletes albums. I would just pull the sports and the school and then that stack of papers when I'm making my album. Um, up here I keep my girly, like mermaid, sweet treats, fairy stuff up there. And this is like weird stuff, like yellow, gray, and blue stuff that I have a really hard time matching stuff to. And so I keep it all in there. That way if I come across something, I'm like, boom, goes in there. And hopefully I'll be able to make something with it. My dog is behind me. <laughs> um, this is everything 4th of July. Um, 4th of July is also my anniversary. So I always make uh, a page for me and my husband. So I love to have lots of fun goodies that's 4th of July related. And then these two are both St. Patrick's Day and Easter goodies. Um, I don't have a lot of paper for those. So I think some of these smaller ones that I don't have like a lot of paper, I do have the paper in the bottom of the bins. And then up here I keep, it says dad and mom, I think, and zoo. <laughs> so I have stuff that's like for mother's day, father's day specific. And then zoo that's related um in that one bin because there just wasn't enough for the stuff to have their individual bins so that is in there and then in this one it's autumn and fall and i took a trip to costa rica and I, my album is like 80 percent done and i'm just i don't know you know like i've lost my motivation but i have all of the supplies that I was using in this bin and I don't want to pull it apart because I need to finish the album and I just I need to just buckle down and do it if not now when I mean we're in quarantine I'm never gonna have more time than I have right now so I do need to pull this out and just get it done um in here is my Disney um all my Disney papers punches washi tape and I I'm not a Disney person However, I somehow have acquired all this stuff, but I know a lot of my pen pals are, so I love making them Disney specific items. So I'm glad that I have this stuff. And up here is all my Chamel, my simple stories. Probably simple stories is one of my favorite um, paper lines. I just love all of their big um, prints. So I really do like simple stories. Uh, fancy pants, I have a lot of miscellaneous kits. Uh, that like nothing really goes together. I don't have enough of one thing to make anything. So I keep it separate and every once in a while I, I score something that goes together and 
yeah, I don't know. Um, in here I keep my quilling supplies, my foam mount to like unmount and remount stamps and just like weird stuff that I don't use that often. Okay, so, oh, that's my top two shelves. Um, and then down here, this is um, an Ikea corner unit. And then these are all Ikea drawers, which I love those drawers. So I guess, let's see, we'll start up here. I don't know how long I can do videos on YouTube for, so I don't want to go too long. Um, this upper shelf, my husband put in, um, he actually used like, I wanted a shallow shelf for my embellishments because I didn't want the shadow over here. And then he cut this one down and then he was like, hey, I can put you a little shelf up there. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> so this is where I keep all of my stickles and all of my liquid pearls. And it works out perfect. I love it. It's adorable. Um, this is where I keep all of my, my cording and my fun twine. And then these are just like my spare clips. And then these are little things that some of my friends have gifted me. And I love them. So in these boxes is where I keep all of my ephemera. Oh, I, I used to keep my ephemera in those boxes and it wasn't working like at all. I never reached for them. I could never find what I was looking for. So in these boxes, I just flip through and I'm sure some of you are going, oh my gosh, this, do you remember Kay and Company? These are like the originals. That's how long. <laughs> I've had this stuff for, yes, the originals. And then this company, do you guys remember these people, Creative Charms? I have uh, tons of supplies from them and they're not in business sadly anymore. So of course I hoard those. Um, Heidi Swap goodies. I try and keep this stuff somewhat in order so that when I have in my mind, okay, this is what I'm looking for. I kind of have an idea of which book to flip through, which box to flip through. Um, do you remember these, Jolie's? Oh, I love looking at all these things. So much fun. Anyways, um, and as I go through these and find things that may, maybe I could break down into something more specific, I will do that as I, you know, work more in my craft room. Like I said, we literally just finished like last weekend. So um, I've been working in here, but not like, I've been sewing more than I've been paper crafting the last couple of days. So um, yeah, anyway, so this is all of my ephemera. This is all, um, this is duplicate ephemera. So stuff that I know is already out in one of these. So this is like my extras. And then here, um, here are the cards that I make. Um, and people come and buy them or they put in a special request and um yeah so this is what I do one of the things that I do and I just keep them in the bin so people could flip through and I have them kind of in order for themes so they could pick out um you know the card that they're looking for Okay, so I think I'm going to try and do like this one in this video and then I think I'm going to have to stop. So these are the wire kitchen racks from Ikea. Um, I had a different idea originally when I um, got them and then it didn't work out. So I was going to return them, but I really didn't want all shelves um, coming out onto um, my desk space. So what we did was we just found clips that we bent and made all of, I had a big magnetic board at my other craft room. So we just fed these hooks through all my baskets and we just made it work. And then some of them have giant magnets, like this is magnetic and it just stuck to this board. So up here, I just keep spare tools, things that I don't wanna forget that I have when I craft like pearls and canvas leaves and words and extra buttons and this is where I keep like my spare clips and empty um, boxes my Cricut markers funnels and Cricut supplies um, these are just some words stickers that I keep up there um, 
inspirational quotes that I like to put in albums, um, cork pieces, more tools, some of my little cute mushroom, my little magnet guys. Um, this is my mail basket and I keep, I don't know if you guys know about, these stamps are like from the 90s <laughs> and they're so fun. I got them at Goodwill. They were half off so they were 35 cents but they're like stamped images and I ran, I stamped these out and ran them through my scan and cut and they stamped out, oh yeah they're right here, they stamped out amazing. So this is all my mail related stamps and stickers and this is what I use like when I send out my happy mail. So I think I said um, my Instagram is linked down below and because um, I'm always looking for, pay for pen pals in the U.S. Okay, so in here, I just keep some of my glue pens, some chalk, and my Brother Scan and Cut tools. And in here, I have all my paint markers, um, my Cropodile, um, an eyelet thing, inspirational quotes. Everything will be just fine. And I actually should have that, like, front and center right now. Um, these are just some, like, uh, tissue paper cutouts. Um, these are some highlighters and white gel pens, and I actually checked every single pen before it came in this room to make sure that it worked. Otherwise, I got rid of it. Um, these are all um, more more pens. These are like uh, these are the Wink of Stellas and specialty uh, embossing markers, fabric markers. These are some of my um, Ranger. I don't really like these; they dry out and yeah, I'm not a fan of those. Um, these I found at Goodwill for half off. They were brand new, but the Tombrow Dual Brush, I like those. Uh, these are some of my baby dolls that I had. Uh, I had these when I was a kid, and then these are troll babies, one of a kind, and they're sleeping in like a little nest. And so this is... <laughs> This was a find at Goodwill, and it's like a tape, like price gun, but I use it, I'm gonna show you, like, it's a date stamp. I use it as a date stamp, and I, I love it. <laughs> it's just so different and unique, and it's just perfect um, to, like, add extra accents to, like, your projects. Um, okay, so these are my Copic markers. Um, yeah, I keep them out, and so I, I do actually use them more than I uh, used to use them. And then in these bins, okay, so I keep extra candy. These are all my roller stamps. Um, this is like, um, what are these called? Um, you know, like to hook charms. They're the lobster claws and stuff. This is a uh, cording for my albums. Uh, this is all tassels. This is all wax seal. Uh, this is more charms. Some made and then other ones that need to be made. And then here are my cupcake liners. And then coming up to this little area. Um, these, I what I did was I took all of my like little embellishments and I just took a couple of each so that when I'm crafting I remember... Um, all the things that I have and so um, I've made little containers with all my different little things so I'm like oh yeah I, ha I have one and it's right there instead of trying to remember what I have and then I keep sequin and then I keep my double click skittles and some more sequin and they're just all conveniently in these um, cases and they just fit perfectly up here and up here, I keep all of my um, pear pins, pear pins. These are just matching eyelets and brads, you know, these little kits that they used to um, sell back in the day. And then a couple of snaps, different kinds. I just keep them out so I don't forget that I have them. And then in here, I keep pre-made labels that I've cut out on my 
my brother scan and cut these are address labels for my happy mail and then these are just all different labels for uh, projects and up here I keep all of my handmade embellishments um, that I put for decorating my happy mail in here is like wire and flower like stuff and um, in here I think I keep like my daubers for my ink and um, these like these are just bags of embellishments but like I said they're broken down into these so these are just the extras bottle caps flowers sprinkles more flowers these are all my is all these are the sprays that I would use the most embossing powders these are all the pony beads that I made in my oven and melted them down these are some gems from my pen pal and some trim that I use when I decorate for um, happy mail and then I hang some of my running medals up because I am a runner and I just you know like having them in my craft room okay guys so that is the majority of this wall so this is video number two of my craft room um, I'm gonna stop here because I don't want the video to be too long and video number three will continue from these drawers and all the way around okay guys see you in the next video thanks so much for stopping by bye